Good morning. Right, off on another cycle today, Riley's Ramble, and uh, going out to the rural Essex countryside to a place called Good Easter. <laughs> I read this in an article on the internet. Um, give an indication of what it's like. In a local history book it says, or well, refers to Good Easter, seven miles from everywhere on the way to nowhere. Anyway, it's got a nice church, apparently the St Andrew's Church dating back to the 1200s. And I'm gonna practice some of my uh, old English now. This is regarding origins of the name of Good Easter. It refers not to the Christian festival, Easter, but the 11th century Esther in the Doomsday Book. It's Esther. From the Old English, Oresta, meaning a, sounds a bit Italian now, doesn't it? Sorry. Meaning a sheepfold or a place at the sheepfold. By 1200, the place was called Good Esther. Getting nearer it now. So, I don't know what my old English sounded like. Anyway, if you fancy joining me, why not come along? I should forget the map. By the way, I'm not a Harrowwood, really. A little bit about Good Easter. It's on, one, on lots of my cycle loops but uh, it's got a, an interesting feature there and all I will say at this moment is um, library and bus stop on the lookout uh, on this particular stretch of the route I'm about three miles oh sorry about two miles out from where I live and uh, looking out for birds of prey hovering in the sky trying to identify uh, what types they are not that there's many different types here in Essex but uh, I saw a massive one the other day uh, I think it was a buzzard Trouble is you just cannot get anywhere near filming them. They're so uh, jittery. And uh, I guess the answer really is you need a, a zoom lens. Morning. You going far today? Uh, I've got about 30 miles. Yeah? Oh, it's a nice... Uh... I've got a um, high Easter, then I'm going to go down to Willingdale. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I know the route. Yeah. Yeah, you picked a nice day for it. Well, it's, it's, lovely, isn't it? it's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Do you, you cycle very often, or? Yeah, I come out here all the time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Surprised <laughs> that I haven't bumped into you. Yeah, yeah I, I live quite near here, so. Which way are you going? Uh, I'm going to um, Good Easter. All right. I'm doing I'm doing some filming, so uh, oh, okay. I'll stop there. It's funny. I, I've met so I, I bump into the same people every day who do their daily rides. Yeah. And yeah, it's the first time I come across you, knowingly anyway. No. Uh, yeah, no, I do uh, uh, YouTube vlogs for cycling and travel. So Nothing fancy. All this started during lockdown, you know, looking for something to do, keep me sane. Yeah. And I've really got, really got into it now. <laughs> a couple of them, uh, a couple of walking. Yeah. A guy from up East London way. Oh, there's, there's loads on there. There's some guys that are really, really good at it. Yeah, it's one of the good things about cycling, actually. Uh, uh, you know, generally cyclists are very friendly. Uh, always willing to stop for a chat, exchange a uh, bit of information about routes, and um, yeah. So yeah, that was a that's amazing in the space of about five minutes talking to someone on a bike. It's almost like you get a thumbnail of uh, people's life, which is a, which is nice. Uh, and then you just sort of go your own way. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's, it's really good. Really enjoy that. Yeah, so if you're watching Kevin, thank you. Happy cycles. Now, I don't know if you can 
just see it in the background. There you can see the spire of St Andrews. That's that's good Easter. It's probably about a mile and a half away. Yeah, it's one of the interesting things about well, the Essex countryside, but I assume most parts of the UK. You know the uh, churches, a sort of hub hub of communities over hundreds of years, and the ones that still exist, uh, like little landmarks in the countryside. Uh, it just gives you that sort of feeling of being in touch with history and old communities that have, that have moved on, got smaller, got bigger, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna have a quick look there anyway. Come grab this right there. Yeah, so I'm just doing a bit of I'm doing a vlog, doing a bit of filming. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No Church, yeah. Yeah, men yeah. work, it's called. <laughs> I, I should put that in the title. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a bit of a general maintenance, we is it? Could, uh, we could call ourselves other things. <laughs> <laughs> As people do. Yeah. Now we just took that old fence down all the way. Yeah, it looks it's seen better days, isn't it? Yeah. Put a new one up. Yeah, do you do maintain this regularly, do you or no, no. we work with someone. Oh all right, okay. It's just a job. Yeah, so you don't mind being on YouTube, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can think of a lot worse places to work. Being out here, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I'll let you get on the way, chaps. Nice yeah. talking to you. Hi, See you around. <laughs> you what? Stay up for hour. I'll probably edit it down into about 10 seconds. <laughs> Make sure I get your best bits. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you later. Take care. Ta-da. All right. So this is uh, what I was alluding to earlier on. The library bus stop. I thought it ingenious community idea. I thought, yeah, let's have a closer look to see uh, what reading material we got here. Please note, this good Easter village facility is for good clean books only, and not a place for unwanted items. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's like a little uh, information bulletin board, local. What an excellent idea. Yeah. That's a, a cafe I go to quite a lot. Cyclist cafes just up the road. Might even pass that on the way back. Murder in Piccadilly. Yeah, so I'm in the uh, centre of Good Easter. It's got a centre. Right. Right, right behind me. You can see that. That used to be a pub. I'm going to post the name up in case I've got it wrong. I think it's... It was the Star. I did actually go there many years ago. Yeah, so... Here I am in Good Easter. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a familiar story, isn't it? Um, pubs in the countryside disappearing. This this area has been hit pretty hard by country pubs closing, uh, turning into very not quite nice stylish residential properties, as you can see. I might do a separate video on that. Yeah, yeah, beer-linked video. What a good idea. Easter, come up a bit of a, a bit of a hill. 
two miles, about two miles to High Easter, which is uh, geographically higher than Wood Easter. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? I like it, I like it. Oh, while well, I'm here, <coughs> yet another lost uh, Essex pub. This one in High Easter. Fortunate enough to sample the owl before it closed, but it was about 20 years ago. Uh, it's that sort of Tudy, Tudor, Tudy, Tudor looking building on the corner there. And again, I've forgotten the name, but uh, I'll post it up there. Yeah, yeah what a shame. Okay, so that's the end of today's vlog. Riley's Ramble number, I think it's 10, not sure. Anyway, thanks for sharing it with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you know the mantra. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah. See you soon, bye.